Let's now move to the transparency tab of the showcase material. So per default, the transparency is set to black. Now keep in mind that for most other software, black equals transparent and white equals opaque. Now for showcase, it's the reverse, which might get a bit confusing, but that's just the way it is. So you can change obviously the color of the transparency and enter any color you want from the color wheel and have somewhat of a colored transparencies, such as colored glass or something like that. You can also choose to use the alpha from the color image file for transparency. Now, if we look at the top here, when we use the image file, if that image itself is perhaps a PNG or a TIFF and it does include an alpha channel, I can use this alpha channel as transparency. Now, the third option is to load your own custom transparency image. Now, keep in mind that you will need a black and white image, not necessarily an alpha channel, but a black and white image. Any type of image will work, PNG, uh, JPEG, TIFF, as long as they have a variation of black and white and everything that is black will be opaque and everything that is white will be transparent and every shades in between of gray will be plus or minus transparent. Now, because I'm using an image file, obviously I will need to apply a mapping type, which in this case situation, I will use the triplanar again, uh, which is the mapping that worked the best for the shape that I had earlier on. And I'm gonna adjust the scale and you'll see and you'll recognize the, met, uh, the transparency image that I have loaded which you'll recognize as everything that is black is opaque, which is the small stripe, and everything that is white is transparent, which is the wider stripe. So you recognize that as, a, as I'm uh, changing the coordinates of the texture here and the way it's being applied to this ball which is one of the reasons why I chose the triplanar projection map so I can adjust and customize how this transparency map is being applied onto my object. Obviously, if I wanna have two different application of this um, material, of this uh, transparency file, I will have to create two different material that are using each um, their own uh, projection map. So you see here, I am adjusting it as I want this uh, transparency map to apply, uh, to be applied on my box, which is a different uh, coordinates or different scaling than it was applied on my ball. So let's look at a few more of the settings. Uh, you can decide to invert the transparency texture if you want, which will inverse the black from the white and the transparency will be different. You can block the transparency highlight if you want. You can use the textured uh, setting linked, which we review earlier on, which basically makes all the image file that you're using in your material using the same uh, projection map coordinates. So we'll go back to a plain color with no transparency and we'll start having a look at the uh, bump uh, setting. So let's move to the bump section. So the bump obviously will need an image file. So to show you the difference here, I'm going to lo load a black and white uh, bump file, which is the first reflex that you're thinking is that you're using a black and white uh, image because most of the other software around need a black and white image for bump. But showcase is slightly different in the way that is reading this map file. And if you're loading a black and white file, this is kind of the result you're going to get. You're going to get some darker area and wider area somewhat like it's reading it as an image file that is applying to the color and not so much into the bump. You do have a bump um, effect, uh, which seems to be a little bit weird and you're not quite sure why it's reacting this way, even though you're adjusting the bump, um, the bump level. So the reason for that is that showcase do need a normal type of image, which is this kind of bluish image in order to give you a clean bump. So see the result here. I have a nice and clean bump and it's using a normal file. So something to keep in mind here, very important if you're going to, if you're planning on to using bump bump image uh, in showcase. Now this is also an image file. It's going to use a mapping type. So try planner again, if you're going to use the texture link, you can use the same um, mapping coordinates that you had applied for the transparency or for the image file. And obviously increasing or decreasing the bump depth 
will give you more or less bump level. Now let's review the setting in the already pre-made showcase material, for an example, a showcase wood. So first of all, when you apply these material into your objects, uh, sometime you're kind of disappointed to the results. Well, keep in mind, because these material are using image file, you will need to adjust the mapping coordinate. So by changing the mapping type to a triplanar and hitting auto fit, Already now you can see the wood grain, uh, which is looking quite different, a lot more large than it was at the beginning. And now I can readjust my mapping coordinates or the way that it's being applied onto these objects by uh, decreasing the scale and choosing the scale that will work best for my model. Now I might have to create multiple material and adjust the wood grain uh, individually for each of these objects, but at least you see the point. Now Obviously, all these um, image files are using a texture link. So the bump the, and the image file are using the same mapping coordinates. Perhaps maybe the amount of um, reflection is a little too high. So I might want to reduce that if I want to have more or less uh, reflection. I also might want to reduce the amount of bump. So you see it's using a normal file, like I said earlier on, and I'm going to reduce or increase the bump depth. So you see by lowering the uh, um, bump depth, I have a bit more of a smoother wood. By increasing it, I have more of a rougher wood. And um, so there you go. I can adjust the setting of my showcase material quite easily and get to a really nice result. So it's always a good idea to start with an already existing showcase material and perhaps adjust the setting to what you're trying to achieve. So creating your own showcase material is a, something that is not as complicated as you might think. It's just a matter of getting used to the settings and trying to find what you're looking for. It's always a good idea to look at some materials as a reference and try to mimic it by using the showcase settings to do that. Or um, what I also highly suggest is that always start from a predetermined showcase material, either a metal, a woods, a fabric, something that is similar to what you're trying to achieve. So some of the settings will already be predetermined for you. Uh, so for example, if you're trying to create your own fabric, you can load a fabric from showcase, apply it to your objects and only change the image file, for example, or only change the bump image uh, as another example. So it's always easier to start Start with some settings that are kind of already adjusted for you and then start to refine them to achieve what you are looking for. So I hope this is helpful and it's going to help you create your own material, and then save them into your material library and build your own custom materials to use in your project.